I understand you're working on an automated dog kennel. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> what exactly am I looking at? Okay, so this is just basically a system mm. that I thought of course, you know, I had I have dogs at home. Okay. And then there are lots and then we don't want to be feeding them every day. Mm. So the idea is to create like a storage, right? On top here for this prototype, right? Mm. A storage at the top for food, water, right? So that it's automated such that every day the system just runs without you going to refill it every time. We'll give the dogs food morning, afternoon, evening. Wow. So we have, for example, um, the, for this prototype, there's a water reservoir okay. connected to a water valve, connected to a pipe down there with mm -hmm. the water sensor. Okay. Yeah. Which is here, right? Yeah. So the things are not put together now mm -hmm. because we dismantle them. So mm -hmm. this water sensor is in sort of um, a container, right? Mm -hmm. If it senses water, the water doesn't come in, but if the water is done, the valve opens and then the water flows in. Mm. So things like that. For the food, I plan on using a server motor or other way. So the food is the same idea. Mm. A valve or something opens, the food flows through and refills for the dog. Mm. That's basically it. You mentioned something very important, which was motion sensing. So everything that's going to work for the dogs has to go through some kind of motion. Um, did you have to develop it through, because I see a laptop there and all yeah. of that. You yes, had to build so, a system? Yeah, so we have to build a system and then this involved some programming here, of course. Okay. So we used Arduino for this prototype. Arduino? Arduino, yeah, Ad Arduino. Okay. So right. there are some of the codes in there which relates the, which sends the um, command to the server, mm. to the valve, sorry, mm. and then to the sensor. So okay. the valve opens, depending on what the sensor senses. Mm. So yes. Mm.